meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, let's check out the uh, forecast here. Whoops, a little quick there on the button. 7 o'clock, 74 degrees. We'll see at least a chance of some showers this evening. 71 degrees at 9 o'clock and out to 69 at 11 p.m. We're expecting partly cloudy skies later on. Give it an hour or two past sunset. Most of the rain should die out. 66 tomorrow morning. Could see some patchy fog to start the day. 77 at noon and 84 at 5 o'clock with partly sunny skies. There's a slight chance tomorrow afternoon a shower or thunderstorm could pop up. But showers will be ending this evening. That dry, unseasonably warm weather for the end of the week. Just a low rain chance tomorrow. And then a summer-like weather pattern right on through the weekend. Of course, we have some festivals going on. The Dayton Art Institute Oktoberfest. Upper 80s expected both Saturday and Sunday. Hot and humid. And the Germantown Pretzel Festival. Upper 80s also and some hot humid conditions for them. Uh, looks like it'll be dry. Plenty of sunshine. Have the sunscreen handy, but keep that water intake up. Mid-60s for low temperatures tonight. So a bit on the humid side, even though it's in the mid-60s. And then tomorrow afternoon up to 85. But look at the 90s showing up on the map out in Illinois, western Indiana will be upper 80s to near 90 by the end of the week, and the tropics remain active. We're still watching Hurricane Maria. Top winds 160 miles per hour, a Category 5 storm. It's heading toward Puerto Rico, so they could be impacted by that storm tomorrow, uh, moving across uh, the island, and then eventually heading on out east of Florida, turning more northward. So Florida, southeastern U.S. looks like they'll be okay uh, going right on into the end of the week and the weekend, but then uh, looks like by early next. Next week, up as we uh, head toward uh, the New England states, the mid-Atlantic states, we'll have to watch out for it. Again, top winds actually 165 right now, moving west-northwest at 10. Ragweed count today 19. That number is moderate. And looking at the stall vision camera tonight, the clouds out there finally breaking up a little bit. Still a couple of scattered showers here and there. Some of the rain earlier today. Bill tells a row seven tenths of an inch out there in Greene County. Barbara Richardson Kettering four tenths of an inch along with Don Chateau. Up in the Sydney area. And tonight we are seeing mostly dry weather here in the Dayton area, but northwest of us, a little bit of rain making its way across eastern Indiana, around Muncie, Indiana. Occasionally a lightning strike out there. So at least into the early evening, especially our counties to the north, there's that slight chance of seeing some rain. There's Hurricane Jose. Not expecting landfall with this hurricane. It'll actually weaken to a tropical storm, but still some gusty winds and rain up toward New York City and Boston. 72 right now in Dayton. South wind at 581%, the relative humidity. So it's feeling like summer out there as far as the humidity goes. And a warm front lifts north and northeastward. A rain chances start to drop off on Wednesday. Pretty much gone by the end of the week as all that heat humidity begin to build in. Our forecast tonight, spotty evening shower. After that, partly cloudy skies down to 65. A little patchy fog possible early tomorrow. Otherwise, partly sunny. Slight chance of an afternoon shower. A thunderstorm up to 85 degrees with a light west to southwest wind. Should see 77 by noon, 82 at 2 o'clock, 85 at 4 p.m. Then if you like your weather summary, we've got it for you. 86 degrees on Thursday, 88 Friday, lots of sunshine expected into the weekend. We're just going pretty much same temperatures every day, although I felt like throwing a 90 in there just for grins. <laughs> But uh, 60s for the lows and some upper 80s there for Saturday and Sunday. We can't rule out a 90 degree high temperature somewhere over that five day stretch. Are you laughing at our torture thank here? We're ready thank for fall. Thank you for, uh, well, thank you for, <laughs> thank you for resisting the urge. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Brian.